Chapter 5. When Lin lost her life for the second time, she was being detained on suspicion of my murder, but I saved her, hoping to solve my own mystery. Living creatures can choose to live their lives in one of two ways. They can either submit to their fate or they can try to change it. Lin is definitely in the second camp. As soon as I got back to the junkyard superintendent's office, this fact was really brought home to me. Cool! We told you not to let the suspect out of your sight. My apologies, sir. But I never thought she would run away. Lynn is our angel. I mean, friend. I mean, she's like family to us. Angel, friend, or family. They're all... They all run when they have the chance. Do you have any idea how many years it's been since my wife ran away? Damn, shit got personal and shit got real. Real quick. I'm very sorry. I have no idea, sir. Oh, you'll never make a detective at that rate. Now, find Lynn. Yes, sir. If Inspector Cabanella gets word of this, it's all over. So our redheaded detective escaped, did she? But I just barely saved her a few minutes ago. Oh, she's fast. Well, guess I'll look around for leads. Trick time! Okay. Well, can we read? Can we like read this? Lynn's notebook, sad and forgotten, sits behind the bookshelves. Who could she have been calling on the phone before she hid it there? Wish I could find out. Okay, well, I guess we can't. I'm so curious. What is... Hold on. What is all... Oh, look at this guy. What is down here? Oh, there we go. It might... It just might be time to clean this room up. But what will close the matter? Her appearance here of all places and tonight of all times. I hardly think it's a coincidence. That old pigeon man. Do you suppose he's carrying out some sort of research here? Look at all these precision instruments and complicated devices. What are you doing? Sir, I think maybe this is how Lynn escaped. Through here. She couldn't possibly fit in that tiny little elevator. Oh, I don't know, sir. Lynn is pretty slim. Fool, don't you know that women can make themselves appear slim through fashion? To this day, I still don't know how much my wife really weighs. I'm very sorry. I had no idea, sir. Oh, you'll never make detective at that rate. Anyway, where is that old pigeon man? Oh, him, sir? He went through the door behind me. It won't open. Apparently, that door leads to the basement, but it's currently locked, sir. These instruments, they're all very suspicious. You had better keep your eye on that old man, too. Yes, sir. All right, let's see. Microscope. Photos. Uh. We could try examining it again. I have no idea what it's for. Um. Um. It really looks like I just have to get down into the basement. Somehow.
What happens if we close the spout lid? I could swear I just saw this thing move. Don't tell me, could it be? It sensed the tension between me and the detective and moved to get away from it? That was an unexpected tangent. I'll never make detective at this rate. What I need is some sort of achievement, a feather in my cap. If only I could find a helpful lead. That might do the trick. A helpful and blindingly obvious lead is staring at you right in the face right now. Shine the light on this thing again. Huh? This is Lynn's notebook. If I give this back to her, it might spark something between us. Hmm, what to do, what to do? This is a very complicated matter. What have you got there? What, this? Oh, uh, this is, um... Wait a minute, is that... Yes, sir. It's Lynn's notebook. Notebook, eh? Come to think of it, there was something about that in the report. Something about her looking at her notebook and making a phone call. This must be it. This telephone number with the big circle around it. Aren't you curious to know who she was calling? I am. I, re I really am, sir. I'd like to know. Oh! But I don't have any ulterior motive for wanting to know, though. And no, sir. No, sir. This number might be an important lead. I better check it out. <laughs> Who you calling? Who you talking to? Hello? To who am I speaking, please? Is that a... man or a woman? Yes, hello? This is a criminal investigation. We need your cooperation. Hey, I know that voice. Is that you, Detective McCaw? Oh, is that Officer Bailey? What's up, sir? You don't usually call this late. Oh, uh... Did you get a call from one of our detectives, Lynn, earlier? From Lynn? Yes, I did. She calls every night. Maybe she senses it's about to happen. Did she say anything special? No, not really. Is something wrong? Yes, well, ahem. <clears throat> I might be contacting you again if I have any other questions. Uh, well, that doesn't help us. I don't think. I mean, does it? I guess we could go there. I'm going to go file the report down at the station. I need to be- I need you to be vigilant here. Excuse me, detective, but... What is it? That notebook. Would you mind if I gave... Uh, never mind, sir. Mm, just stay on your toes. Should we go here? Let's go. Have I seen Dr. Stone? I love Dr. Stone. I've seen it all. Okay. Yeah, this, this guy. What's that call all about? I heard you say Lynn. I don't really know if I had to take a guess, though. I would probably say something's going on with her. Ha 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 ha. The only place in the world where nothing is going on is inside your brain, Bailey. Oh! What is that supposed to mean? I mean, I know what the words mean. That's not what I'm asking. That was my way of expressing it indignation, putting it in the form of a question. I just hope Lynn's not doing anything crazy. I'm a fan of hers, you know? According to my log, Lynn has been calling here nearly every night as of late. So, let's see. This is the place Lynn took all that risk to call, eh? 
what exactly is this place? Trick time. Tricky, tricky, tricky. Memo. What is this place? I don't know. Let loose? Or we could go up here. Examine the monitor. Let's do that. The screen shows rows of tiny rooms. The rooms are really, really small and you can see right into them from the outside. I suppose the open bars keep the rooms airy, but I wouldn't want to live in one myself. I wonder where these little rooms are. Are they like detention cells or what? Hey, what's this? Oh, that? I wrote down my duties for the night so I wouldn't forget any of them. You can't keep them in your head? It's not like you have a ton of duties after all. Use a little brain power. Oh! What are you talking about? Weren't you the one who just said nothing was going on inside my brain? Hmm, didn't think you'd take it in quite that direction. So, let's see. This important to-do list of yours. Nine o'clock. Take prisoner... C-38 to the telephone room. Yes, he just made a request to use the phone a little while ago. Nine o'clock, eh? That's when Lin usually calls. Well, we can't let her talk to him tonight. Rules are rules. Aw, oh, poor Lin. Sure wish I could comfort her. Oh! What do you think you're doing? That's my important duties memo. That's okay, I've got it all memorized for you. Well, it's your duty to guard the telephone room, you know. Just make sure you do your job when the time comes. <laughs> Let's continue this. Hello? I mean, hello? Lynn! I'm sorry, I don't have much time. Please let me talk to him. I'm sorry, detective. I can't do that tonight. You can't? But you always let me talk to him before. Well, uh, the telephone room is already reserved. That's why. Oh. <laughs> By the way, is something going on with you tonight? What? Why do you ask? I got a call from one of the other detectives a minute ago asking about you. Oh, really? Well, I don't think it's anything important. Officer Bailey? Do you think you could keep this call just between us? Even if only for tonight? Well, I, uh... Oh. Well, I've got to go. I'll call again tomorrow. Trace complete. Oh boy. Well, I guess I better call the detective division. Hold on there, Bailey. What? Don't tell me you're going to report that call from Lynn. What else can I do? It's my duty. Just write it down on one of your important to-do lists, and then I can wad it up for you and throw it away. You mean, you want me to keep quiet about it? Well, isn't that what she asked you to do? Well, yes, but... Tonight is kind of a special case for us. Can you make a special exception for Lynn, too? <sighs> special case, huh? All right. You win. I don't know what they think is special about tonight, but for me, it's my only night. Lynn is on the other end of that telephone line. I'd better hurry. 
All right, let's dial this mystery place. Looks pretty sus. Oh no, she's dead again. Couldn't have been me instead. I'm no use as a police officer. It should have been me. It looks like she's dead. We'd better not touch her. Who did this? Who shot Lynn? Hey, excuse me, mister. You talking to me? This room, there aren't any other exits beside this one, are there? Do you see one? Huh? Then how did... We must have one of those mysterious locked room murder cases on our hands. One of those cases where the murderer vanishes in, into thin air in a vacuum. Just go find a real detective. I'll keep watch here. Yes, sir. This poor guy. Ugh, what a terrible turn of events. So now a locked room murder, eh? Things never get dull for our redhead. I know of a certain inspector who might dance around at the thought of a mystery. But no mysteries for me. Not when I can rewind time and talk to the victim herself. Guess it's time to go back and see the truth behind this murder with my own eyes. Sweet. Oh, thank you, Rage. I'm glad we met too. Me too. Me too. Man, this girl is always dying. All right, let's do this. Aha! I died again. Why is she so excited? I thought you'd be a little more grave under the circumstances. Yeah, well, this is the third time, after all. It's scary what a girl can get used to, don't you think? Frankly, the way her mind works is a whole heck of a lot scarier to me. So, what happened this time? Who shot you? I don't know. What? I'd like to know myself. Who could have done it? Who shot me? What are you asking me for? Oh boy, I guess I'll just have to go find out for myself. Okay, you just go do that. Hurry along now. I get the distinct impression I'm being used here. Okay, looks like it's time to go back. Back to four minutes before your death. Rewind time! has it been since I locked this room up in darkness? I once thought the truth could be discovered in darkness. Maybe it was just that the time wasn't ripe. why that guy has a bird on his head. He hung up. Trap door, so it must be that. What the 
fuck? It's booby trapped? <sighs> really? That's how she died? Really? That's the truth behind our locked room murder? So the murderer was a mechanical murder machine? Murder machine? When I came into the room, it was pitch dark, so I turned on the light. That must have been what set it off. The murder machine, I mean. Can you please stop repeating the words murder machine? That old pigeon guy must have made it, but why? What could be the meaning behind this weird room? Anyway, you'll have to find some way to stop that creepy machine. Once Cupid fires his arrow, it's all over. All right, leave it to me. Leave it to me. You know what, Sissel? I think this death might be easier to prevent than the others. Why's that? You know, because the murderer is mechanical. She has a point. I can't manipulate living creatures, but I can manipulate this machine. Now I just gotta figure out how to stop it. When the four minutes ago me turns on the light, that's when the murder machine is set in motion, apparently. Looks like the key to solving this one is understanding this device. All right, I gotta let this play out a bit. How did you manage to cram yourself into that tiny elevator? I've always liked small cramped places. Whenever I see a little hole or crevice, I always feel like crawling in. What, is she a cat in another life? The place I feel most at home is that space between my bed and the wall. Yeah, I guess I can understand that. Ah, we're birds of a feather. We should get together and talk about it sometime. Alright, so we have to. I don't know. If this is gonna work. Uh, hold on. So we have to open the toolbox. Then how are we gonna get. I think I have to. I have to raise that first. Okay, I was thinking I had to, like, be really quick and go back. So we have to raise it first and then we have to hit the ball with the shovel and then the ball's traje trajectory will change. Your future just got a whole lot rosier. Your death has been erased again. I, uh, thank you. You kept your promise, didn't you, Sissel? My promise? You said I'd see you again if I died. I don't remember making any promises. It's all for my own benefit anyway. Fate averted. What could this room be all about? Hmm, I can't imagine. So 
those things that went off at the end. Those were party poppers, weren't they? Party poppers? I have no recollection of what they are, but that's no surprise. The party poppers, the gun going off, it seems familiar somehow. I'll leave that part of the puzzle to you. I have my own puzzle to figure out. Well, shall we go back now? Back to your new present? Are you there? Lynn is talking to me? If you're there, could you say something? If you're not there, I guess I'm just a weird girl who talks to herself. Well, you are kind of a weird girl whether you talk to yourself or not. Okay. So if we, uh, oh, we can we get in here there we go okay you are here i knew it i just had that feeling shame on you for stepping foot into a girl's head uninvited wait a minute don't give me that a ghost doesn't have feet bit what feet who said anything about feet it's just a figure of speech Hey, did I say anything? There! That tone! It's that tone of yours that makes me mad! So, did you have something in particular you wanted to say to me? I just thought I'd share some information with you. I'm investigating a case right now. A murder case, and I'm doing it alone. A murder case all by yourself? Yes, well, that's because the case was closed a long time ago. The culprit is already behind bars, forgotten by the world. So why are you looking into it then? Stepping into... Oh, okay, I get it. Thank you. <laughs> because I think the person's innocent. That's why. There's something strange behind the case. Some big mystery. I firmly believe that. So anyway, I finally have my memory back. I'm not at liberty to tell you about the case, but if there's anything else you want to know, I'll try to answer what I can. Dude, I'm dead. Just tell me about the case. Lynn is my only lead. I would like to ask her about a few things. All right. How about, about the one who shot me? You have your life and your memory back now. So let me ask you again. Who shot me tonight? Yeah, I thought that might be the first thing on your mind. What else would it be? There's a good chance I was shot while I was with you, after all. I'm afraid... Was it her? My memory just isn't clear on that part. Oh, really? How convenient for you. Not clear? I met with you tonight, and then you fell down right in front of me. I think I remember seeing that part. I'm pretty sure you were shot. Maybe from somewhere far away? So you didn't see the culprit. I'm sorry. I wish I could be of more help. But I know I wasn't the one who shot you. Your colleagues seem to think you're a suspect, though. I wanted the information you had for me. So why would I shoot you before I got it? Information, huh? Wonder what info I had for her. Well, maybe we'll ask what we should ask. Oh, we can. We will. Okay. About the girl. With the bow. By the way, I see you have a little roommate. Camilla? How do you know about her? Oh, it was inside of your house. There was a tiny incident in your apartment a while ago. An incident? What kind of incident? What happened? Is Camilla all right? She's fine, thanks to her loyal little friend, Missile. Although I did have a little trouble bringing him back to life. Oh my! What in the world is going on? Why would anybody want to hurt Camilla and Missile? You're being targeted by a certain organization. What? I saw them. The people who were calling you their target. 
So I'm a suspect and a target? Could this night possibly get any worse? It does sound pretty rough. Are you sure you'll be okay on your own? Huh? You know what they say, when it rains, it pours. Isn't it time you admitted you need me? Need my powers? I'm sorry. I can't cooperate with you. Yes, you saved my life tonight. Yeah, three times, lady. I'm completely grateful for that. But as a detective, I still can't trust you. That's too bad. Ah, well, shit. Okay, about the information. So I had some important information that you wanted, huh? That's right. You called the station yesterday and you asked to talk to me. You told me you had an important lead on the case I was working on. Important lead, eh? You said you wanted to meet me and talk to me directly tonight at the junkyard. And you fell for it? Even given how fishy it sounds? You're the last person I want to hear that from, you know. But I just couldn't let it go, no matter how shady it seemed. That's because I'm running out of time. <gasps> well, if there's an innocent person in jail and we're running out of time, maybe they're on they're scheduled to be um um killed. What's it called? They're on death row. Hey, that's right. You said something was going down tonight. That something have to do with the case you're working on? Executed, thank you. I was like, euthanized? No, that's not right. <laughs> Is euthanization, can that be used for people too? Can that term be used for people too? Or is that just animals? I'm sorry, but I can't talk about it. Oh boy, but I guess I understand. So, what are you gonna do now? Run, I guess. They'll catch me again if I don't get out of here. And I have to get to the restaurant. I'm worried about Camilla. Oh yeah, what was it? The chicken kitchen on Dead End Drive, right? What about you, Sissel? What are you gonna do? I don't know, to tell you the truth. You're my only lead. If you leave... Why doesn't she go to the restaurant and then call him? Call the phone and then he can just... Zoop over there. I just realized you and I are in the same boat. We're both looking for answers tonight and neither one of us has anybody to help us. Except each other! Yes, and I already saved your life three times, so let's go! That about sums it up. Hey, even if you can't cooperate with me, how about if we just agreed to use each other? That's not a bad idea. You're on! But can I ask you to do a favor for me first? What's that? I need you to sneak into a certain place for me. A prison, to be exact. Prison? That's the place I was calling from the office upstairs. I want you to go find out a certain prisoner's work schedule for tomorrow. Work schedule for a prisoner? Yes, the prisoners are given different job details every day. Each prisoner's schedule for the next day is written on a small blackboard in his cell. So just go check out a certain prisoner's blackboard, huh? Okay. His prisoner number is D99. If you do that for me, I'll cooperate with you. Okay, you're on. Here, let me give you the chicken kitchen's telephone number. Oh, well, I guess if we did, we don't have to have her call us because all we need is the phone number. Where's she going? Okay, see you later. See ya. But don't die again if you can't if you can help it. Um, I'm sure she will die again at some point. <laughs> I 
Looks like I hold the key to the case Lynn is investigating, and she holds the key to solving the mystery of me. So we start up a strange relationship of cooperation. Lynn gave me an assignment. My task is to go check out tomorrow's work schedule for prisoner D99 and better get to the prison. Yay! We got through another chapter! Chapter 6, 9.03 p.m. Lost memories of self, a forgotten murder case, a dead guy and a detective joined forces to find out the truth behind them both. The detective assigned the dead guy a task to sneak into the prison and find out a certain prisoner's schedule for tomorrow. What should I care? I don't have a schedule for tomorrow. That's how I'm feeling about it at the moment. Trick time! Alright, we gotta get to our telephone. So we can make a call. what these guys are talking about it's all over it's all over for me lynn sweet cute lynn who shines as bright as the sun ran away from me well it's better than the alternative that she died so be happy and then those detectives matching bookends blue and green yelled at me hmm, forget about all that now you listen to me, kid. Yes, sir. You're bright as the sun, Lin. Probably doesn't even know you exist. And those detectives will probably yell at you your whole life. Never mind fretting about every single little setback. Enjoy your life. Get what you can out of it. Mister, would you mind just leaving me alone? <laughs> That's sad. Uniformed men's office. <clears throat> so, how are the preparations coming along? I think they're taking care of them right now. Yeah, man, I'm not looking forward to this kind of surprises me coming from you. I didn't know you thought about such things. By the way, that was me being sarcastic, just in case you didn't catch that. Two more hours, and then it's time. I guess we should just get back to work. Yeah, I guess you're right. I think they are gonna execute this person. Gotta be it. The atmosphere sure seems tense. I guess I'll just get back to my work as well. I want you to go find out a certain prisoner's work schedule for tomorrow. Yes, the prisoners are given different job details every day. Each prisoner's schedule for the next day is written on a small blackboard in his cell. His prisoner number is D99. Alrighty then, how do I get to these cells? I better try to get some information here first. Trick time! Hey, Bailey! What's the matter? You can't even pin up a memo pop properly? Let me see this thing. Take prisoner C38 to the telephone room. Yes, he just made a request to use the phone a little while ago. You already told me that earlier. C38, eh? What did that punk do anyway? You never heard the story about the secret rendezvous case? Secret who what? C38 was a singer in a band. His group was playing a concert that was being broadcast all over the country live. And right in the middle of their encore, there was a huge incident. Huge incident? What was it, a murder or something? In a way, it was even worse than a murder because it had to do with national secrets. 
Huh? National Secrets? A rock band? I'm lost. The song they were doing was called Secret Rendezvous. But the lyrics C38 was singing were completely different from usual. So how is that a huge incident? Because the new lyrics exposed all of the nation's dark, steamy secrets. Budget misappropriations, foreign economic strategies, illicit dealings, everything. He was caught red-handed in the act of leaking national secrets. Seriously? The case sent shockwaves throughout the country. But it doesn't make any sense. In the first place, how would a rock singer know any top secret information? It's a complete mystery. What? Why don't they just ask C-38 himself? Maybe they did, but they haven't released anything about it. Apparently, it's a matter of national security. Secrecy. Mm. Oh! Would you quit throwing my important duty memos away? Hmm. Sorry. Not sorry. Hey, Bailey. Try pinning up your memos a little better next time. Let me see this thing. Inspection. Prisoner C-74. Oh, it's almost time for that. I'd better prepare. Prisoner C-74, eh? What did that big whale do anyway? You don't know? About the Metro Police Department siege case? This guy's got all the tea. All the tea, and he loves spilling it. Metro who, what? C-74 barricaded himself into the Metro Police Department and took siege of the place. He even pointed a huge flamethrower at the chief commissioner. Why the heck did he do all that? That's what the detectives who surrounded him asked, too. What are your demands, they asked. And? The guy looked confused, thought about it for a while, and said, Bring me five servings of curry and rice, on the double. Curry and rice? That's it? Unfortunately, no. After he was done eating, he torched the commissioner's office with a flamethrower Torched it good. Important documents and the commis commissioner's mustache were destroyed by the flames. What the heck did he do all that for? Because the curry was too spicy, he said. Ain't no such thing. Ain't no damn thing as the curry being too spicy. What is wrong with him? I know, right, Honka? Not the stash. Anything but the stash. <laughs> Hey, Wolfine! <laughs> huh? <laughs> Facts. He's where he belongs. That's right. Anybody who can't handle spicy food belongs in jail. It was too spicy, and I just lost it, he said. Seriously? The case sent shockwaves throughout the country. But it doesn't make any sense. In the first place... How did a huge armed guy make it all the way to the commissioner's office alone? It's a complete mystery. What? Why don't they just ask C-74 himself? Maybe they did, but they haven't released anything about it. Apparently, it's all a matter, matter of national secrecy. Mwah. Oh! Would you quit throwing my important duty memos away? Uh, another one? Ugh, shit. Okay, at some point I think we need to stop time and get over to that side, so. If it'll let me. Or maybe we do have to Hey, Bailey. Okay, here we go. 
All right, emergency switch and goblet. All right, emergency switch. Let me s Oh, here, okay. Let me see this thing. Bring dinner to prisoner D99. The chef is preparing it for him right now. Oh, how fancy. D99, eh? Even I know about this one. Yeah? Such a sad case. Hard for us, too. He shot his wife, didn't he? Right in front of a family member. It's just awful. Why in the world did he do that? Why would he do something like that, of all people? The motive, everything. All a complete mystery. It's just ridiculous. It doesn't make sense that he would do anything like that. I don't know the details, but apparently... This case is a matter of national secrecy as well. I don't get it! None of it makes any sense! You do know what kind of prison this is, don't you? It's a special prison built just for these kinds of special cases. That D99, who knows what he's thinking or hiding behind that beard of his. Yeah, you can never trust anybody with a beard, that is true. Anybody who does not like spicy food and who has a beard, that's like a double whammy right there. That D99, who knows what he's thinking or hiding behind that beard of his. I don't like any of it. I knew I couldn't take my job seriously without it getting to me. So the prisoner I'm looking for, D99 was convicted of murder, eh? And he apparently has a beard. Oh! But throwing them away. Okay. Well, he put a new memo. Oh, it's time. Okay. That's the rock star they were talking about. What is this guy doing? I'm gonna knock it down. There, it's done. Let's knock it down. Emergency switch operate. Okay, let's try it. Oh! There you go again, fooling around with that thing. It wasn't me. Don't lie, I know you love to see me jump up and prepare for emergency. Oh yeah, sure. Way back when I first got this job, but I've had enough of that now. Besides, you always react exactly the same way. Ugh. The emergency switch is probably just loose, probably because I fooled around with it too much. Well, it's for emergencies, don't play with it. Anyway, it wasn't me. Maybe you ought to get it repaired, huh? Well, close it back up. It's making me feel on edge. Nah, too much of a pain. A pain? Proper emergency procedures are a pain to you? <sighs> what a sad, sad state of affairs. Night vision goggles? Goblet. Monitor. Camera. Button press. Let's do it. I'm guessing that's the kid they were talking about. The one who sang the national secrets. If he's a prisoner, he must have come from the cells. Yeah, we gotta get in his guitar. Oh, I know what we have to do. Press it. Bam. Bam. Look at that guitar. Look at that hair. What is he? Look at those shoes. So this is the thing that was making that horrible noise a second ago. I guess it's a way for the spiky-haired youth to express himself. 
Sentiments like, I'm hungry or I'm thirsty, maybe. Something primitive like that, I bet. What? No, he has deep, deep thoughts. Come on. Peace out. I'm done. All right, C38, back to your cell. Hey, guard man, how about giving me a little space? That crazy walk of yours is dangerous, man. A proper walk for a properly led life. Now, let's go. Yo, no lectures, man. I walk my own path, my own way to my own music. So this special prison, they can uh, have guitars, I guess. They can, they can do a lot of things. So I finally made it to the cells. Now to find prisoner D99 and check out his work schedule for tomorrow. What could Lin possibly want with that information? This place looks fun. I'm excited for this. I love the different characters in this game. They're all so just in your face. <laughs> Damn! Don't think I can take another second of this stinking pit. Looks like Garden Man is gone. All this waiting is wiping me out. Hope this one will finally do it. Go, go, go! Oh, yeah! Rock on! Woo Come on, sausage head! Hmm. This prisoner obviously isn't the one I'm looking for. Prisoner D99 has a beard. There's some of those little blackboards Lynn said would be in the cells. Maybe I should check out Spikey's schedule for tomorrow. I, I can't m look around? Aw, what? All right, we have a bunk. We have a drum that we can play. All right, let's play it. I think it was shit. Note, examine. There's a pad of note papers hanging on the wall. There's a red O drawn on each one. I think it's some kind of letter or symbol, but I don't recall what it means. There's a pad of note papers hanging on the wall. There's a red X drawn on each one. I think it's some kind of letter or symbol, but I don't recall. Toilet. A phone. Telephone. It looks like it's an internal line only. It doesn't call outside the prison. So the only places I can go with this telephone are other phones within the building that I've already possessed. Okay. Emergency button. All right, let's check. I want to check the uh, blackboard here. So this is one of those little blackboards Lynn mentioned. Just let me give it a little read. Tonight. I lost a lot of things. My life, my memory. But there's a certain skill I've apparently lost too. I can't read! <laughs> oh no! What? I can see that there's some kind of writing on the blackboard, but I have absolutely no idea what it means. If I can't read prisoner D99's work schedule for tomorrow, oh, what do I do now? Fuck, that's a problem. What am I supposed to report back to Lynn now? If I tell her I couldn't read it, she'll kill me. But actually, I guess I don't have to worry about that one too much. Anyway, I might as well try to find prisoner D99's cell. Hopefully I'll at least be able to find out something while I'm there. I can't go back to Lynn empty handed. But of course, a ghost doesn't actually have hands. <laughs> All right, so it doesn't look like we can do much except 
push this emergency button. Oh, what's this? Okay, empty cell. All right, let's push the emergency button. Mm, an emergency button, an emergency in a prison. That's gotta be a pretty bad situation. We'll just give it a little try. They all walk like that? I caused quite an uproar, I guess. And I bet each prisoner reacts differently to the alarm. It might be fun to watch. Let's see. If I want to change my view, I can... Oh, thank you. Maybe their behavior will give me a clue about my next step. Ah. Alright, he's just rocking out. He's just painting. Oh, he has the beard. And he is... Did something with the toilet. All clear. Trick time. So if I sound the alarm, it gets people moving, eh? Maybe I can use their movements to get around. That way I can at least get an idea. What's going on in each cell? Okay, so... Hmm. The toilet. Go, go, go! So they're like... Passing notes to each other or something? Okay, he licked the spoon. He's pulling the note out. It's a, a yes. Oh my god. Hello? Hello? Where'd he go? By the looks of him, that must be the curry lover from the police department's siege case. But never mind that! Where did he go? What's going on in this cell? Anyway, there's a little blackboard here too. Just to be safe, maybe I better check the curry lover's schedule for tomorrow too. I still can't read, but I better go check out deep... Prisoner D99 cell anyways. I want to see what the prisoner Lin is investigating looks like. Alright, so if we ring the bell... Oh, he came back out. going on here looks like the curry lover comes back when he hears the bell can't make heads or tails of his behavior once he gets back though but this prisoner isn't the one i'm looking for i'll just chalk this guy up to it takes all kinds better try to find a path to d99 cell same thing here it looks like this is just an internal phone too it doesn't call outside Alright, we made it. Is that a walrus? Hmm. What a strange cell. None of them have been very normal. And the prisoner inside it, he seems to be enjoying himself. This is the last cell in this area. 
So that means that this man humming to himself must be prisoner D99. According to what the guard said, D99, eh? Even I know about this one. Yeah? He shot his wife, didn't he? Right in front of a family member. What? Uh, what in the world really happened? And why is Lin so concerned about this prisoner? I don't know the answers, and I guess there's no need for me to know. I have only one objective, and that's to find out what this painter's work schedule is for tomorrow. I wonder if he is the f a family member of Lin's, or is he a family member of, um... Maybe he's the father of... Oh, what was her name? A little lady, Camilla. She has pink hair. I don't know. Anyways, maybe that's why she's staying with Lynn, because she's like orphaned. Picture frame. Open. Photos, eh? Wonder if those uh, these are of his family. This one looks like a young woman holding a baby. Your faces have been blotted out with black paint. Did he do it out of hatred or some other emotion? Thankfully, that's not something I need to know right now. Newspaper article. A newspaper article has been cut out and framed. Unfortunately, I can't read it. It's probably about D99's case. Man murders wife or something like that. There's a picture of the alleged culprit in the article. Yep, it's this prisoner, all right. So the work schedule for tomorrow, prisoner D99. The information Lynn's looking for should be written on this blackboard. Unfortunately, I've lost the ability to read. But I am here, here I am anyway. The least I can do is take a look. Huh? What could this mean? There's nothing written on the board at all! He is gonna be executed! I think something was written on the blackboards of the other prisoners. But this board is as clean and blank as the day it was hung there. That's why he's having a fancy meal being cooked for him too. So I have the answer Lynn was looking for. Tomorrow's work schedule for prisoner D99 is... Nothing. Would this information mean anything to her? It's not up to me to know or care. That's how I feel at the moment, anyway. Not being able to read, I was wondering how this was going to turn out. Some things in this world can be read, even if one can't read. Prisoner D99's work schedule for tomorrow is blank. Better get this important information to Lynn as fast as I can. Okay, so, what we need to do is call, oh, D99 dinner! Quite a feast tonight, I see. Ah, oh, I'm absolutely crazy about this chicken. That's a turkey! That's a turkey, right? It's too bad it's all cold and hard, though. I'd say it's been about two hours since it was cooked, judging from the way it feels. D99? I know it's kind of pointless to ask now. But just the same, I still want to know. Why did you do it? I agree. It is pointless to ask now. My case is colder than this chicken and has been forgotten by everybody. Not everybody! Myself included. Detective... Detective Jowd? Now then. Let me eat in peace before it gets too cold to cut. Did he call him Detective Jowd? Like he's an ex-detective? There's one more thing I've been wondering for a long time. What's that? 
Who is the man in that painting? Oh, this? Well, being in prison like this, you start to forget faces, you know? So I paint the faces that I don't want to forget. And this is the last of those faces. Aha! It's me! Now, could you leave me alone for a bit? Let a man eat in peace. Okay, sure. Sorry to bother you. What in the world? What in the world could this mean? Why is there a painting of me in this man's cell? That hair. Who exactly is this prisoner? The man whose case Lynn is investigating is painting a picture of me in his cell. I have to go see Lynn fast, not for her sake, for mine, to solve this mystery of me. Oh shit. Things are getting intense. Oh, nothing in the wastebasket. Okay, so let's call. This telephone doesn't connect to the outside. That's fine because I don't need it to. Guard room. This is headquarters. What's the status over there? Oh, chief, it's you. They're making preparations now. No problem, sir. How much longer then? One more hour, sir. I see. Carry on then. Oh, one more thing. Inspector Cabanella wishes to speak with you. Evening, Cabanella here. How you boys doing? Inspector Cabanella! Fine, sir! You got another little call tonight, didn't you, from my baby? Uh, from Lynn? Uh, well, yes. Did my girl have anything interesting to say? Uh, not especially. She hung up almost immediately. I see. <laughs> Next time she gives you a buzz, be sure to let me know right away. That's a good fellow. Yes, sir. You'll try to cover it up, and I'm sure you'll regret it very much. Very much. Yes, sir. I'll call you right away, sir. Immediately. Don't forget, she's a fugitive after all. Yes, sir. Carry on, then. I might pop in a little later. Yes, sir. Looking forward to seeing you, sir. All right. Lynn should be heading for the chicken kitchen now, but the call from police headquarters intrigues me, too. It's looking pretty obvious right now. The white-suited inspector suspects Lynn, and she is being considered a fugitive. This is not good. I wonder if I should go check in on the chief and the inspector in white, too. Inspector Cabanella seems to be looking for her, too. Your Lynn, I mean. Inspector Cabanella? What would the special investigation unit want with Lynn? I don't know. I guess something happened that we don't know about. Tonight of all nights. Inspector Cabanella must be upset tonight, too. Weren't he and prisoner D99, Detective Jowd, good friends? You sure about that? If they were such good friends... How come Inspector Cabanella never came to visit him? He's the head of a special investigation. He's a very busy man. Oh, What's wrong? Jowd was my hero, you know. I wanted to be a detective because of him. 
But look at me! Rotting away in a place like this, and I can't even do anything to help Lynn! What am I doing with my life? This is a new... This new side of you is kind of endearing. Anyway, the thing to do is work at fixing what you can, little by little. Like, for example, your house of cards. It's collapsed, you know. Ah. Okay. So then let's go to the chicken kitchen. Chicken Kitchen. <laughs> oh, the music. So funny. This is where the little lady and Lynn are supposed to meet, but... I don't see either one of them here. I guess they haven't shown up yet. Trick time! Alright, let's explore. Telephone book. Menu board. Bell. We can ring the bell. Okay, let's ring the bell. No sense wasting time just standing around waiting for them. Maybe I can check some other place out in the meantime? Like police headquarters? Lynn is apparently being treated as a fugitive there. Is that white suited inspector really on, Le really on Lynn's side? then so to police headquarters I guess this place all right let's check it out he's got his shoes off and his socks Preparations seem to be going smoothly over at the prison, eh, Inspector Cabanella? We were just a little too late. So close, eh, Inspector? We still have a little time left, Chief. Not much, but some. We've had Point X surrounded all night. If he shows up, we nab him, and we can still make it. By the way, what's going on with that other case, the junkyard murder? She did it, eh? No question about it. She is a bad little baby. Disappearing from the scene like that, wonder where she ran off to play. What did he just say? She did it? Did I hear that right? I think they were talking about the culprit who killed me. No, no way. I just don't believe it. Why would she do a thing like that? Afraid I don't have the answers for you, Chief. I don't want to believe it any more than you do. And yet... After seeing this, maybe we don't have any other choice but to believe, baby. Is that the security camera tape the investigation unit just delivered? I can't deny it's some pretty solid evidence against her. Evidence. Nothing like it, baby. Uh, why a murder case now on such an important night? Tisk tisk. I think you have it wrong. Have that wrong, chief. A murder case now, for the very reason that it is such an important night. Before I go find Lynn at the chicken kitchen, it sounds like there's an important piece of info here I shouldn't miss. Pretty solid evidence, he says. This I have to see. 
But it's funny. Why do I have this bad feeling about what's on this tape? All right, let's see. Antenna raise sounds good. Alarm, speaker, screen, lower. All right, and operate the remote control. Okay, let's see. The junkyard where I died had a security camera and it captured the moment of my death perfectly. And what the tape showed me was the cruelest truth imaginable. She shot the ground. Oh! Well. That is pretty damning evidence. I saw myself shot right before my eyes. By Lynn. There goes my only lead. I feel like I've died all over again. One thing sticks with me though. Lynn looked so surprised on that tape. What in the world did I tell her? So she lied. She said that she he was killed before she got information out of him. And that's not what the videotape says. The truth is the truth, no matter how many times you watch it, Inspector Cabanella. It wasn't me who played the tape just now, baby. Oh, by the way, Inspector Cabanella, there's something on that tape that troubles me. And what's that, Chief? I'm all ears. No, you're all chin. This guy, too. I had a look at all the photos of the crime scene as well, but... The place where the victim was shot and where the body was found is clearly different. Hey, that's right. He's right, that is strange. The hitman in black is the one who kicked me downstairs. But I changed his face, so he should have been out of the picture. There I am, down on the lower level. Interesting. I have the answer to your mystery right here, a few minutes after the murder take took place. Cat? There was a cat in our we were holding that briefcase is that a black cat you got it baby a furry feline messed up our crime scene and then the little cat culprit vanished into the night hmm looks like my destiny of being knocked downstairs is very hard to alter this is point x come in chief the chief here did he show up uh no sir not yet but idiot i told you to stay off the radio unless it was important but this is important sir somebody else showed up our rookie detective lynn what you see my baby over there do you i heard she was on the lamb uh, I heard she was on the lam. What do you want me to do, Chief? What do you say, Inspector? Detective! Get my baby away from Point X! Do it now, man, and then hold on to her! Yes, sir. I'll go get her right now, sir. What's the meaning of this? Why would Lynn show up at Point X? It took the Special Investigation Unit six months to pinpoint that location. Don't know, Chief, but I'd say it wasn't a coincidence. 
Perhaps. What happened? Detective, come in. And now what? What happened this time? Damn it. This calls for a telephone call to Point X. Allow me. So Lynn has shown up at some point X, but I thought she was on her way to the chicken kitchen. What's going on? But one thing is clear. Something big just happened. Oh my God. What is this guy doing with his feet? Put your shoes on. Jeez. What are you doing? Get your buttons over here. What did you say? Now I finally understand. I know what it's like for our poor hungry customers who have their food deliveries delayed. Excuse me, but this is the chicken kitchen, is it not? What? Are you talking to the police? The police? Did something happen over there you need assistance with? Something happened here, you ask? More like there's nothing left here. I gotta go! Wait! Wait! There's a girl on roller skates. What's going on? Something. That's what. Something is definitely going on. And that something is far from nothing. That's for certain. Thanks for the tea, chief. I'll be on my way. You're going to point X? Point X, eh? I'll leave that to the boys. There's someplace else I gotta be. Inspector. Your being there isn't going to change anything. Why put yourself through it? I have a responsibility, and I'm going to see it through to the end. Besides, it's not quite over yet. Right, that's true. Do what you must, then. I'm rooting for you. Abanella. Prisoner D99 scheduled tomorrow for tomorrow was blank. Seems like forever ago that I found that out. And now my mind is even blanker than that blackboard was. Lynn, my only lead and my partner shot me. What did it all mean? I knew where I had to go to get my answers. The chicken kitchen. The point X the police have surrounded and the place where something big just happened. What will Lynn be involved in this time when I find her there? Find out next time on Dragon Ball Z!